Hello, my name is Chadomir Nestorovic and I'm a professor at SA Business School in Singapore. Today we'll talk about the Russian elections. The Russian presidential elections from March 2018 were interesting since uh, Vladimir Putin uh, has won the election by a very high margin. Uh, the preliminary results are showing more than 76% of votes in favor of him. It is much bigger, much higher uh, than uh, six years ago. So it is showing that he doesn't have any contender in Russia because the closest one, the second one, won only 11% of votes. Many Western media and observers believe that there were uh, many irregularities during these elections. However, the landslide victory of Vladimir Putin is not giving any place for a serious contest about that. Uh, he will stay in power for the next six years. So in 2024, uh, according to law, uh, he cannot uh, be a candidate anymore, but maybe we can change laws up to that since we change laws and the rules in China concerning the election of the president, maybe they will also change the laws in Russia during the next six years. It will be difficult to address the elections in Russia according to the Western rules for, or Western regulations for two reasons. The size of the country, this is a continent, so they believe that they have different rules for such, a si for such a big country. And the second thing is the post-Soviet trauma when the Yeltsin era has caused a certain uh, discrepancy between the elites on one side and the population on the other side. And this population believes that Russia is back and that Russia's power is back with Vladimir Putin. Russia is back uh, from the economic and from the military point of view. From the military point of view, uh, there is no uh, real uh, competitor in Europe. The only competitor is NATO, but NATO is backed by the United States. So without the United States, there is no European defense policy which can put Russia in danger. Concerning economy, there were sanctions against Russia, but the effect of the sanctions were not, was not very big. In fact, when we look at the results, there was much more effect on the price of uh, oil uh, concerning the drop in Russian GDP rather more than the effect of sanctions which have been adopted by the West. Now that Xi Jinping has secured uh, uh, a leadership position for a very long time in uh, China. Now that Vladimir Putin has won this landslide victory in Russia and that Trump is still uh, the president of the United States, these three countries are going to rule the world. So the scenario number one is that Russia and China are securing a strategic partnership and they will rule the non-Western world and they will leave the Western world to the United States. The second option is that the three countries are making a strategic partnership, and in that case they are uh, sharing the world according to their preferences. And the last one is that they cannot secure the partnership, but they will enter in a gentleman's agreement through the spheres of influence, and they will not try to interfere in each other's spheres of influence. The option number four is that they are engaging in confrontation one against the other. However, this confrontation is bringing so much uncertainties and so much, uh, uh, so much pains that it is uh, very unlikely to happen.